Hey, 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 Twitch TV back with another bum 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 bitch. Thought you won't leave my side, but I guess you lied to me. I thought you was down bad, but ain't nobody right but me, and they all turned their back. It is Pride Month. Pride Month, happy Pride to everyone. Of to all our, <sighs> our happy babies. <laughs> <laughs> our rainbow babies. Yeah. Rainbow, and it is Wine Wednesday, okay? Wine Wednesday, Wine Wednesday. What a <laughs> Wine Wednesday, and we got to show you our little beautiful hat. Hey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, of course, uh, let's do the cheers to start it off. And <laughs> take a sip. Ooh. That's right. Look. Everything. <gasps> the red wine that we're drinking, no, it's not a promotion or anything, but it's one of our favorites because it's like the dry wine. It's called Shiraz by Yellow Tail. Mm -hmm. Yellow Tail, I think it's uh, from Australia. Oh, so good. It's so good. So today, pretty much, you know, we're going to be bringing you the multifarious shenanigans, okay? So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification for more, okay? <laughs> so we're going to be talking about the history of Pride. We're going to present y'all with the poem that we made about, like, the poem. how we came about our... Because <sighs> a lot of people don't know... You know that me and my sister, we like women. We love women. You know, it's all our our longest relationships have been with women only. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But anywho, yes, we have a poem to present that. You know, we even might talk about how our mother found out about yes that because we situation. we didn't get to tell her like other people told their parents exactly that she found out found out nurse no, Hartley. So before we get into our shenanigans, we're going to get into the history of it all. So um, whenever, okay, you know, so from what we learned, the little notes that we took down, you know, you know, we wanted to share a little knowledge that we found out. You learn something new every day. Okay. We take notes. <laughs> okay. So um, the event was put on by a gay men's group, right group called the My Matching Society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the Matching Society, one of the earliest LGBTQ rights. Mm -hmm. And it was formed in the 1950. 1950. That's crazy. 1950. I'm telling you, in the 1900s, that's when a whole bunch of shit was going down. And yeah, like, a lot. Even for that. You know, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, it says, um, what we found out, it says, an annual reminder was held in 1965, which intended to remind Americans, basically, of the citizens that aren't given the right to their lives, you know, the pursuit of happiness mm -hmm. and liberty, you know, because of what they like, you know. Their love is love. Well, we all know love is love, but if you're going about it the right way, not going about it in a malicious way, mm -hmm. okay, and not with ill will or not with envy, okay. And um, and that was all according to Philadelphia's LGBT rights organization. That's when it started for Philly Pride. Yeah, like so, it. yeah. But the other one was for like nationwide. 1950 was that was the first. Exactly. You know, men's men made it first. Yeah, a, a men's right. Yeah, yeah, a gay men's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And on uh, <laughs> uh, the summer night of 1969, police raided a Stonewall Inn, which in, was in the Stonewall Inn bar located in Greenwich Ville. In the NYC, Village, you know, mm -hmm. NYC, the cities of gays and lesbians, chance in their community. That night was historic because <laughs> <laughs> they decided to fight back instead of being still, which created a new era of resistance and revolution. Uh -huh. Love that. And then the last bulletin we got, which is the start of it all, you know, um, the first Pride Parade was held June 28th, 1970. Formerly known as the Christopher Street Liberation Day March on the Stonewall Uprising. So it's basically located in NYC, of course, New York. So 
Yes. And that's where the biggest one, you know, there's so many damn people that come to LGBTQ freaking yes, parades, whether, whether they're they straight, gay, mm -hmm. like any, everybody. And that's what I love to, to about love. That's what I love the, about the pride. LGBTQ in general. Pride and pride month. Because in general, you yeah. have the straight people that support. Exactly. Those family members. Not the, not the Bible thumpers that be in there trying to say, this is wrong. Because yeah. they have those people Y'all should be damn, a damn shame to y'all self to do exactly. some shit like that. Like, that's disrespectful. That's, that's disrespectful. No, that's what you call disrespectful. Y'all don't need to do all that extra shit. But I remember when we went to San Antonio Pride our first time, it was some people doing that shit. I said, y'all really need to get the no, fuck. Like, why are y'all bothering these people over here? The disrespect. I was like, y'all taking too much time out of y'all day to put energy into exactly. this. Exactly. Go, go <laughs> to the church. Okay? Go Bible study. Make some profit. Like I usually do. Right. Off the people. But yes, um, Pride is very significant to us because, of course, um, growing up, we weren't raised to, like, we we're we we're raised in a strict household. Mm -hmm. I'll just say that. Like, so to hear that we came out or that we we are that gay, we like women, that mm -hmm. we like women, you know, that was a big shock for our family members. Like, a lot of our we couldn't even see half of our cousins. Mm -hmm. Yep. Growing up, because they found out because their parents were like, oh, you ain't gonna be gay around them gay ass whores. Mm -hmm. what's, 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 what's 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 that shit? The, the uh, carpet muncher. Yeah. What's the old ass who be saying? And ranch with the say carpet muncher or cat carpet muncher is okay. What are they munching on? That's carpet. <laughs> you got a poop on that cake. But you need marching on that yeah. yeah. Munch munch. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was it was horrible for us. I mean, like family wise, like we didn't get that support. I mean, we got the support from our mom, of course. Not but, even from some of our friends back back then. Like I lost a good friend in high school. Um, yeah, she was. She literally cried her eyes out to me when she found out that I was dating a female. Like, she was so pissed off, and like we weren't friends anymore. And I used to talk to her like every day, like morning, noon, and night type shit. Like that was my friend type shit. Like, told each other everything, and then it just went in there. Like that was what that mm -hmm. really was. It showed me a lot though. Growing up, I mean, that's when you realize shit. Mm -hmm. When colors come out, you know, yeah. when certain things come to light. So. That everything comes to light. Better know it, cause this month during this retrograde, y'all motherfuckers gonna see retrograde, it. eclipse, new moon. Thank like, you, like all in one, all before or yeah, like right before coming into our birthday. Like yes. it's just a lot of shit going on. Like and yes, we've been universally. Feeling you know, we've been feeling it and like, seeing it, seeing it. Mm -mm. And a whole lot, a whole lot. <laughs> So I'm gonna get into this little poem right quick. <clears throat> yeah. Whew, I ain't never presented a poem before, guys. She sits there. Painful at the back of her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so basically this poem is basically presenting to you when we started feeling those emotions, you know, at a young age towards women, you know, because we always knew at a young age, elementary type shit, and people, be, it blows people's minds when they hear that shit, but it's that's not what I knew. girls was uh, trying to touch us. And Literally, shit. like, we attracted females and, and males, but mm -hmm. a lot of females yes. growing up, and it was crazy. Like, they used to want us to come to their house, but our mom was strict, especially like, now you're not. Exactly. You know? No. People can start spending at our house to leave. Got to high school, school. literally, which is <laughs> sad. We couldn't do shit. No, tell me, like, no. No. My mom wasn't having that. Okay, well. Okay. <sighs> she lays there in the midst of the moonlight, gazing in deep thought, half naked, wrapped in a loose sheet. My intuition guided me to the inherent truth I've held within. But this one unique portrait my grandmother held in her restroom was worth more than a thousand words. You see, <laughs> my love for women has always been rooted. Seeing the bare body of an elegant soul had me mesmerized since the age of five. Not knowing if it was right made me stuck between the two, but even then I didn't care if it was wrong to love a woman because it was all that I ever knew. <laughs> That's the true shit. Okay. That, I ain't never did that before, but I felt like it was the perfect time to do that, you know? Yeah. And that's just... From poet. Poetry. Girl. 
Do you read a poet? Girl, yeah, please. <laughs> she messed with Jean this, so she wrote it. Oh, yeah, no, Jean. Mm hmm, Dean. Oh, yeah, boo. In the scene. Woo, woo, woo. But, yes, guys, I just. <sighs> if you have a family member that is struggling, exactly. like their parents don't accept them or anything, you Talk need to, to them be help them. that strong minded family member, friend, whatever you are to them and be there. Like, you don't understand, you don't know what people are going through, what's in their head, exactly. like what state of mind they're in. So they're that's why you always need to be kind, mm -hmm. always show love, spread love. Because if you give, if you spread love, then you're going to receive love. Whatever you give to the world is going to come back to you. In so, full circle. Literally. So, we want to leave y'all with that message. We want to tell y'all that we love y'all and we appreciate y'all for always tuning in to the new yes. yes. and, and for the new people that's coming in. We you know. appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe, get that bell notification. For these and fruity tootie booties. Okay. Tune in. Tune in. To these melanin goddesses. Okay. 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 And Twitch and TV will be back with another boom, boom, boom. boom. boom.